What is up, YouTube? So I've had a little bit of peppermint schnapps to drink. Feeling pretty uh, good at the moment. I'm not by any means tipsy, but I got a little bit, just a little bit of a buzz going. And while watching <clears throat> random YouTube videos, I noticed that a lot of people, when they protest at Donald Trump rallies, they're not too happy with the way he's trying to do his shit. And then Donald Trump fans, in return, throwing fists at the, at the uh, protesters. And Donald Trump himself saying how he's going to have anybody who protests at his rallies sent to prison for something. And then turns around and says he doesn't want to do it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, this, this, yeah, Donald Trump is disgusting. Okay, Donald Trump is, is a uh, disgusting person, you know. He's a greedy, corporate son of a bitch. And you're entitled to your opinions, YouTube. You can vote for whoever the fuck you want to vote for come November if you're old enough to vote. But some things to think about. People are getting into riots, YouTube. People are getting into riots, okay? Riots at Donald Trump rallies. And do you see this much hate towards one candidate with any of the other people? And the answer is no, you don't. You know, you don't see this degree of hatred towards any of the other candidates. It's just Donald Trump. Now, you're entitled to um, protest peacefully by saying what you got to say. But these last couple of weeks, from what I've heard of the Donald Trump rallies, people are getting just a little bit out of control with it. And then here's Bernie Sanders at his rallies with the dude playing acoustic guitar saying, how about a little bit of music? Here's Bernie Sanders at, a, at one of his rallies having everybody in the crowd sing along to the song, this land is my land, this land is your land. Do you see any violent protesters at a Bernie Sanders meeting? And the answer is no, you don't. And if by now people haven't caught on, then you're stupid, okay? If you're watching a candidate on TV and people are protesting, okay? And I applaud the people that are protesting at Donald Trump's rallies, okay? I have, you don't even know, dude. I fucking hate Donald Trump. Okay, he's a racist son of a bitch. Okay, now when, and the thing of it is too, he's threatening to make everybody who protests at his rallies go bankrupt and throwing them in prison and blah 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 blah. Like you cannot legally do that to somebody if they are peacefully protesting, then they have every right to. And Donald Trump wants to do do away with peaceful protest. And it's just, oh my God, YouTube. It's unbelievably disgusting. And the most I can do is bitch about it on YouTube and show my support on Facebook. If and Donald Trump said he didn't want to do the uh, Chicago rally, and I think the reason is is because. So many people are getting angry and heated at his debates. People are, you know, and then people have the right to peacefully protest while they're saying, and then, you know, the worst you can do 
as far as Donald Trump's concerned, is if somebody's protesting at one of your rallies, you have them removed from the rally, and then everybody goes home at the end of the day going, doing whatever, you know what I'm saying? But then people escalate it to a bit further where they start protesting and Donald Trump fans start throwing fists at the protesters and cheap shots and what have you. And if people are violently protesting or getting violently protested against at a Donald Trump rally, then this should be this should be an eye opener, YouTube. If you have not seen it yet, this should be an eye-opener that Donald Trump's not a good candidate to run for president. And the reason being is, you look at his rallies, YouTube. Look at his fucking rallies. People are violently getting attacked by his fans at his rallies. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing, Skippy Jim. Here is the thing, Skippy Jim. If you're at a presidential candidate's um, debate or what have you, and you don't like what someone has to say, you can peacefully protest. You know what I'm saying? But this is—it's starting to get—it's starting to get out of control. YouTube. It really is. If people are angry at Donald Trump, and they have every right to be because he is a fucking corporate snob, okay? That's exactly what Donald Trump is. He's a fucking corporate snob. Rubbing everybody's noses and noses in it. Oh, my father gave me a small sum of a million dollars for college. It was tough, but I managed to make it. Fuck you. If I had a fucking million dollars to get, to go to college and further my education and actually make something of myself, you think I would? Probably, yeah. And this motherfucker, okay, Donald Trump, this motherfucker, okay, this motherfucker goes bankrupt a good three to four times from three to four failed businesses. And bankruptcy is there for people who need a little bit of financial assistance. You file for bankruptcy, taxpayers help you out with bailing you out and shit. Okay? And does he once say thank you to the American people for bailing his sorry rich ass out of bankruptcy? No, he doesn't. And I sincerely hope that people have enough common sense. Okay. I seriously hope people have enough common fucking sense to see Donald Trump's rallies for what they are. And note that if people are protesting angrily, mind you, that maybe, just maybe, Donald Trump's not your candidate. And I know Donald Trump fans are going to hate hearing this, but Donald Trump's a racist, period. You know what the difference between Adolf Hitler and Donald Trump is? The goofy mustache. Oh, I bet you a lot of Trump supporters hate that shit, too. But it's the fucking truth. Adolf Hitler put yellow stars on Jews... And Donald Trump wants to do the same thing to fucking Muslims. And people say who it, people who say it isn't true, like seriously, watch what he says. Watch everything that motherfucker has said, and tell me I'm fucking wrong. As a matter of fact, let's go to YouTube right now.
you want to mute the ad real quick. If you'd held out any hope that Donald Trump had some line that he wouldn't cross in demonizing Muslims, well, I'm sorry. Uh, our ability here to predict the next crazy thing that he'll say, the next crazy policy he'll advance, I cannot actually come up with anything crazier than what you're going to see coming out of this interview that he had uh, with Yahoo. So he said, we're going to have to do things that we never did before, and some people are going to be upset about it, but I think that now everybody is feeling that security is going to rule. And certain things will be done that we never thought would happen in this country in terms of information and learning about the enemy. Speaks about it as if it's a good thing. And so we're going to have to do certain things that were frankly unthinkable a year ago. In response to that, Yahoo News asked Trump whether this level of tracking that he'd been talking about might require registering Muslims in a database or giving them a form of special identification that noted their religion. He wouldn't rule it out. Oh, oh my God. So I think just... everybody knows that security is going to rule. That's Mussolini. That is a fascist dictator speaking there. Yeah. So uh, are we at the end of fascism where there are no rights left and there's gas chambers? No, we're not at the end of fascism. So we don't want to speak in hyperbole in that sense. Are we at the beginning of fascism where you start to give people ID badges and start to separate them out by religion? Well, that is what Trump just said yeah. he would like to do, right? And so, and, and if you're not familiar with history at all, that is exactly what the fascists did in Germany, yeah. where they separated out people based on religion. They had a national database, right? And, and you had to have the right papers. And then they started putting badges on them. Yeah. I can't believe Trump would say, yes, we should consider putting badges on people. Would you like them to be in the form of a star or a triangle? Which one would you like, Donald Trump? Yeah. So we've got some historical information for you. So this is coming from the Holocaust Center. Uh, the German government's policy of forcing Jews to wear identifying badges was but one of the many psychological tactics aimed at isolating and dehumanizing the Jews of Europe, directly marking them as being different, i.e. inferior to everyone else. Anytime you force someone, like they did in Arizona, to carry their paperwork, it's to remind them every day that they do not belong in your society. Going on, uh, it allowed for the easier facilitation of their separation from society and subsequent ghettoization, which ultimately led to the deportation and murder of six million Jews. Now, more specifically, criminals were marked with green inverted triangles, political prisoners with red, asocials, including uh, Roma, nonconformists, vagrants with black, in the case of Roma in some camps, brown triangles, homosexuals were identified with pink triangles, and Jehovah's Witnesses with purple ones, giving an idea of the number of different groups that were marked for uh, differentiation. Okay, still not convinced. Still not convinced, YouTube. Still not convinced. Okay, let's go to the secular talk real quick. So Donald Trump was doing a rally in Dayton, Ohio, and somebody rushed the stage. Let's watch that. Here's what happens. I will call up Carrier, the president. I guess I have to do it myself. I know it's not. It's much easier if the cops do it, don't we agree? Huh? What a great job. What a great job. And to think I had such an easy life. What do I need this for, right? How do I yeah, uh, I'm sure you were ready for him, Trump. Okay, not the video I was looking for, but we'll keep... fucking ad is so obnoxious. Donald Trump threatens Bernie Sanders rallies. Let's watch this video, shall we? 
So over the weekend, Donald Trump canceled his Chicago rally because protests and clashes uh, got out of hand. So much of the crowd uh, were Trump supporters, much of the crowd were protesters, and it was loud and it was boisterous and at times it got physical. So in some instances, it was the protesters who got physical and crossed the line. There were plenty of examples of that. And in some instances, it was the Trump supporters who crossed the line. So it's hard to say in totality, hey, one side is totally right and one side is totally wrong. It looks like both crossed the lines at different times. At times, the protesters kind of became rioters and did violence. Uh, at times, the Trump supporters did violence. That should be totally unsurprising to you guys, given the fact that we've covered countless stories from Trump rallies where, for example, his supporters sucker punch people in the face. Uh, but the Chicago police actually cleared Trump to, to do the event. And he decided against it. He said, look, I don't want to do it because I think I might be sacrificing somebody's safety. Bullshit. He's saying he doesn't want to do it because he's tired of people getting violent at his protest, at his rallies. You know, that was his reasoning. So on this particular uh, part of the story here, I'm 50-50. I'm so on the one hand, look, even if I despise somebody and I think they're grotesque, they absolutely have the right to go out there and uh, speak their mind. There's no doubt about that. But at the same time, it is also freedom of speech, and it is part of the First Amendment to do free expression and free protest. And these people were protesting somebody who they disagree with. Now, having said that, uh, while both, of, both sides have free speech rights, I would have preferred it if the protesters basically protested but did it within reason. And you're not, like, censoring the event to the point where it shut down. And that's what ended up happening. Now, again, the police cleared him to do the event, and Trump decided not to do the event. So you could say, hey, that's on him. He could have went out there either way. Uh, but any time a protest crosses the line in any way, shape, or form into violence, it's no longer civil disobedience. Uh, now you're being a dick. So it's a little bit of a mixed picture here, and you have to be nuanced about it. You have to support Trump's free speech rights, even though we think he's grotesque and horrific, and he is those things. But he has a right to speak, and you also have to support the rights of the protesters. So I'm in favor of both here, and there were instances where both crossed the line. I think they were both wrong when they both crossed the line. But overall, I would have liked to see the protesters reel it in a little bit. Still do your protests, but reel it in a little bit. And don't censor the guy. Let him have his talk. And, you know, you can keep protesting while he's doing it. And then everything will still go fairly smoothly. They'll escort you out as you protest, yada, yada. So, again, nuanced picture, mixed picture. I, I kinda, I'm skeptical of people who are taking hard sides on this. Because uh, if you're taking hard, uh, a hard side on, on Trump, you're ridiculous. Because this is a guy who's literally been calling for rolling back the First Amendment. Saying we're going to open up the libel laws. And he doesn't believe in free speech. And he wants to bankrupt you if you disagree with him and write stories against him. So now all of a sudden they're pretending like, oh, we care so much about the First Amendment. No, you don't. You're supporting the candidate who wants to crack down on the First Amendment. So people who are 100% on Trump's side here, they're just being hypocrites and they're being ridiculous. And they think only free speech when it matters for me. But then again, people who are solidly on, in the protesters camp here, you are doing a little bit of rationalization for people who go too far sometimes. And it's no longer civil disobedience. And it's censorship. And it's also, in some cases, violence that they did. So again, nuanced picture you got to be open-minded about this. you got to be fair about this. But the next day at, at a rally in Kansas, uh, Trump took it too far again. So canceled his Chicago rally. The next day he's in Kansas, and here's what he said. Quote, I hope these guys get thrown into a jail. They'll never do it again. It'll destroy their record. They'll have to explain to mom and dad why they have a police record and why they can't get a job. And you know what? I'm going to start pressing charges against all these people. And then we won't have a problem. They're probably good kids. I don't want to ruin people's lives, but the only... Oh, they're probably good kids, but... That's kind of like the thing that Donald Trump said about the Mexicans. Eh, some of them are rapists and criminals, but I bet some of them are good. He's saying, oh, Donald Trump just makes my skin crawl, YouTube. About this but the next record they'll have to explain to mom and dad why they have a police record and why they can't get a job and you know what I'm gonna start pressing charges against all these people and then we won't have a problem they're probably good kids I don't want to ruin people's lives but 
The only way we're going to stop this craziness is if we press charges because then their lives are going to be ruined. They're going to know their lives are going to be ruined. So I'll just tell you folks, from now on, if you do anything, we're pressing charges, okay? Wow. Wow. So, understand that. He's not being nuanced. He's not being open-minded. He's not saying, hey, First Amendment rights don't only apply to me, they apply to protesters, they have a right to speak their mind even if I disagree with them, and then we'll go about it in an orderly fashion if we have to remove them, so on and so forth. No, no, he's saying, if you try anything against me, I will ruin your life. I will sue you and I will try to bankrupt you and I'll try to get something on your record and you should be in jail. Now, if you really think Trump is balanced enough to say, hey, come on now. This person just used their free speech rights against me and peacefully protested while that person was violent and was a rioter. So lock that person up. Don't lock that person up. If you think he's making a distinction there, you're fucking crazy because he's not. And he repeatedly hasn't. He threatened to sue the Washington Post when they had a factual article on him about, hey, here's how his casino went bankrupt and here's the terrible decisions he made and here's how he fucked the investors and his people and walked out the back door with all the money. He's like, I'm going to sue you because I don't like your article. They're like, well, this is all public record. This is factual. He's like, I don't care. I'll sue you. I don't like it. You think this guy really is going to make a di distinction? That guy's a rider. Arrest him, which we all agree with. If somebody's doing violence, yeah, you arrest him. You think he's going to say, though, that that guy's a peaceful protester, let him speak his mind? Never, never. He's telling you he doesn't believe in the First Amendment as he pretends like he's crusading for the First Amendment. There's another time where he flat out said, what happened yesterday in Chicago is my First Amendment rights were taken away from me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Again, the Chicago police cleared you to speak and you said you don't want to speak because you were concerned about safety. And maybe that's true. You should be concerned about the safety. But you were cleared to speak. You decided not to speak. And it's not like if you spoke, somebody's going to lock you up. That would be a violation of your, First Amend uh, of your First Amendment rights. And again, I'm not defending the protesters who go too far. If they riot, they do phys uh, physical stuff. Yes, you could lock them up. But Trump is not balanced in this. He's not nuanced in this. If you disagree with me, you don't have free speech rights, but I have all the free speech rights in the world. So he absolutely is a hypocrite, and let's keep that in mind. He repeatedly has said he's going to crack down, open up the libel laws, crack down on dissent. So don't fall for it, this nonsense now. Oh, I care about the First Amendment. And finally, get this. Here's what he said to Bernie Sanders. Quote, Bernie Sanders is lying when he says his disruptors aren't told to go to my events. Be careful, Bernie, or my supporters will go to yours. Okay, what? Now, Trump likes it like to make up that, hey, Bernie Sanders sent these protests to my event. No, he didn't. Bernie has incited about no violence in his entire life. Of course, Bernie didn't send these people to his events. Trump makes it up, and then he's like, well, how about I su send my supporters to you? And then, God forbid, the media calls Trump out and says, what are you doing? That sounds like a threat. He's like, what do you mean? Oh, no, it's 50-50 because Bernie sent them to me and now I'm sending them to him. So what do you mean? I'm just retaliating. It's kind of like self-defense. What are you talking about? I just, I'm just returning what, exactly what Bernie did. Why don't you call it out when Bernie does it? Why do you only call it out when I do it? But that's the thing. You're lying. He didn't do it. He didn't tell anybody to go to your events. You're making it up. And he's like, no, I will, maybe I'll send my supporters. And by the way, how scary is that given that we know because they tell us. White nationalists, KKK operatives, people like that are Trump supporters. Now, to be fair to him, at times he says, I disavow their support. But they still support him. It's not like, you know, they came out after and said, well, now that he disavowed us, I guess we're not going to go for him. No. So he's got these people who are crazy, who are, you know, neo-fascists. We got the guy who sucker punched somebody in the face the other day at an event. There's been repeated violence against protesters at his events. He's like, yeah, how about I send some of my people to your crowds? These are, but these people we know are violent. What are you doing, man? And again, I want to be clear on the record here. Anytime there are protesters against Trump who get violent, who, you know, riot, and it's not civil disobedience, I'm against that too. We have to be in favor of civil disobedience here. But we know that Trump supporters, they have a track record of doing violence. And the ones who are going to take him up on this are not going to be of the peaceful mindset where they want to go do civil disobedience at a Bernie Sanders rally based on the evidence and what we've seen. So, no, he's doing a veiled threat here. And this is not something that's acceptable of a presidential candidate. And it's also not acceptable that 
uh, he pretends like he's such a crusader in, in favor of the First Amendment when it affects him. But when it's anybody speaking out against him using their rights, no, no, that's unacceptable. Rights for me, but not for thee. That's Donald Trump in a nutshell. And that, YouTube, is why you should not vote for Donald Trump this coming election. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later.